was a kid, I learnt to stick up for myself and build resilience to bullying. And then when I became an adult, I realised that people's words and their behaviour is a reflection of them, not me. Miss New Zealand finalist Saley Tamihana Brown grew up in a farming family where she was immersed in East Coast culture. I spent time growing up in Muriwai, Manatuki, all the way up to the coast, Tolaga Bay, uh, Cape Runaway. I went to school, primary school at Muriwai, Tikaraka, and I also went to high school at Tolaga Bay. But that all changed in 2019 when she went from gumboots and farm animals to high heels and catwalks. I grew up on a farm and so putting heels on for the first time I was really scared that I might break my ankle because a lot of my family refer to high heels as ankle breakers and so that was a big challenge for me. I did fall over quite a lot but I think the more I did it the more better I got at it. A few tips I was given when walking is to always look forward, look confident, move your face, smile, walk in a straight line, look at all the judges and pose, look confident, turn and go. Regardless of appearance, it was making a change on the inside that first drew Zaley to pageants. I watched some of the girls join pageants and I saw the personal growth that happened within them. And growing up I was real shy and I thought, well this would be a good, good stepping stone for me to help grow my confidence because it really puts you out there and it forces you outside of your com comfort zone. What did your family say, or I mean your siblings, with a few of you, <laughs> when you told them you were going to do pageants? What, what was their reaction? Oh, they laughed so hard, especially my brother and, and my dad, because my family aren't used to seeing me wearing makeup or high heels. And one time my dad was like, who's that? I didn't realise it was me, and I was like, it's me, you heck. Zaley's first pageant was Miss Asia Pacific in 2019, which included travelling to Malaysia to compete in another pageant, Miss Scuba International. And that pageant was all about marine conservation, and I've always loved the moana. I spent a lot of time growing up on the sea, and I really enjoyed going overseas and meeting all the other girls and finding out issues that they're facing with the sea in their countries as well. Zaley's best friend encouraged her to try out a smaller pageant. And I'm glad that she said that because in the smaller pageants the audience is smaller and also the judgement and the negative comments that come from doing pageants is a bit smaller so it prepared me for international pageants and the international stage. Standing up and being counted takes bravery and Zaley's family help her ignore the critics and nasty comments. I have a lot of whānau that are really supportive of me. They always keep me grounded, always remind me who I am and how far I've come in life and that's what helps keep my head on straight. Zaley embraces the online comments to help her grow as a person. I do read some of the bad comments but I don't take them to heart because some of the things that people say can be helpful feedback for me to grow as a person and I think because I know that I'm not perfect and I have flaws and I'm okay with those flaws, having people saying negative things to me, they've never met me before, I kind of take their negative comments with a grain of salt. Some of her strengths comes from her upbringing as a youngster spending time in and out of hospitals. I have a twin sister that was born with chronic renal failure and I spent a lot of time in Starship Children's Hospital with her and a lot of the nurses encouraged me to do my nursing. So that's what motivated my career aspirations. Zaley completed her in-roll nursing in 2018 and then spent two years in Dunedin Hospital working on a surgery ward, but then returned home to Gisborne to look after her grandmother. I decided to move home because my Nan was diagnosed with cancer and I thought I would have a break from nursing and come home and look after her. She continued her study in nursing in Gisborne and is set to graduate at the end of this year. I'm very passionate about Māori health. 
So I think I would really like to work somewhere out in the community with our people. It's no secret that Māori are overrepresented in some of the poorest health statistics in New Zealand and I've always wanted to help change that. Doing good in the world fits in with the Miss New Zealand kaupapa to encourage charity work and harnessing a special talent. In the Miss New Zealand there are categories. The main category is interview and charity work. So the interview is pretty much like a job interview. The employer chooses whether or not you're the perfect fit for the job and it's the same with a pageant. You have a panel of judges that sit there and they listen to your answers and they decide whether you deserve to be the winner. And then the charity work revolves around which charity that you're supporting. And it's not just about the fundraising. It's also about raising awareness. Zaley's charity is Brave, a charity that raises awareness about sexual harm prevention among rangatahi in Aotearoa. But as for her special talent, she is keeping that hush hush. In the past I have done poi. There are other contestants who are in the pageant as well that are most likely going to do poi, so I think I might spice it up a little bit. But I'm not going to say what my talent is quite yet, just because I want to surprise everybody. Other Miss New Zealand categories include appearance-based classics like catwalk, swimwear and evening gown, along with newer rounds like social media, which judges contestants' ability to promote the show and themselves to get votes. I've decided to share things about me that are pretty raw, like things that I know people would be able to resonate with and be able to relate to me and hopefully draw some inspiration and motivation from me. Pageants were once seen as sexist and outdated, but Zaley is passionate about the positive effect they have for contestants. It's quite empowering, like being around other women who are like-minded and you all share the same kind of goals. You all want to do well, you want to support each other and you want to help others as well that are lacking confidence. The final of Miss New Zealand will be held on Friday the 18th of June at the Bruce Mason Centre Takapuna. Renee Lolly here, Local Focus.